Amen. 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 Truly, we bless the Lord this morning. We thank you for his goodness and his kindness. Yes. We thank God for the fellowship Hallelujah. of his presence. We thank the Lord because he is indeed and has been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Yes. Yes. When you think on the goodness of Jesus yes. 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 and all that he's done all for you, done. for you, for me, yes. for all of us, yes. My soul, your soul, our soul, yeah. cry out. Thank, Ooh, thank God thank you. for saving me. Yes. I thank God yes. for his mercy. I thank God because his mercy endured forever. Yes. I thank the Lord because he has been good. Yes. He has been good. So good. Bless the Lord. If you have your Bibles, I thank the Lord for this word this morning. I hope and I pray that it will encourage your heart because it encouraged mine. I thought about the move of God and the presence of God and what we go through in this life. And I'm so grateful to God because he doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did for Noah, he did for Abraham. What he did for Abraham, he can do for you and I. Because God is unchangeable. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank God for his word. And thank God for his presence. Philippians, the fourth chapter, Philippians, the fourth chapter, the first through the seventh verse. We thank the Lord for his word. Where would we be without the word of God? That's right. Without the word That's of God, right. where would we be? Amen. It says, therefore, my brethren, the dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Jerobius and beseech Sensi that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labor with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Amen. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Paying special attention to the fourth verse. Rejoice, rejoice. in the Lord always. Yeah. And again I say rejoice. Thank God for his word and thank God that he has been so good to us. I'm grateful to God that God can be trusted. I'm grateful to God that when I call on his name, when I seek him, However my condition, however my circumstance, that God is faithful to his word. Amen. David said, this poor man cried, yeah, he did. and the Lord heard him. So however your condition, however your disposition, God is bound by his word that when you call on him in faith, believe him. Yeah. God will hear yes, he will. your cry. Amen. That's, that's a good thing to know. God knows where you are. He knows where you've been. He knows where you're coming from. He knows where what your situation is. He knows your circumstance. And God says, if you call on me, he said, I'll answer me. He said it in Jeremiah, the 33rd chapter of Jeremiah. He said, listen, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. No, God is able, glory to God, he's able to speak from the volumes of his wisdom and give us what we need for whatever we need. Thank God for his word. If I might use for a word this morning, it would be rejoice again. Rejoice again. When you look at our text here, uh, the Apostle Paul spent a lot of time in Philippi. The church of Philippi had an interesting history in that it was a very uh, in, uh, impoverished, it was a poor church, impoverished, and yet they were rich in faith because God 
bless them. Don't you know God can take a little and make it a lot? Amen. You can, you, you know, you, you may be from the projects. You may be from a real, a, a situation and a circumstance where it's not that popular, but God can take your unfamiliar. God can take that which is disdained by man and looked down on by men and cause it to rise up with glory. God is able to bless what others say can't be blessed. God is able to lift up them that say they couldn't be lifted up. If it had not been for God, I don't know where I would be. Amen. I don't know what I'd be doing. I don't know who I'd be with. But God can raise you out of the muck yes. and fire. Yes. I'm glad he can do that yes. because he found us in the muck. Glory to God and the mire. I don't know how deep your stuff was. I don't know how bad off you were. But understand this. All of us found ourselves separated from God. Amen. And God reached into the muck of our situation and drug us out. We weren't coming out unless he pulled us out. God drug yes. us out. Yes. Thank, you. Thank God Thank you. that he's able to do the impossible. What man said he couldn't do. God said, I got it. Amen. I can handle this. I know what the doctor said. I know what the diagnosis is. I know what the final report they say is. I'm God, and inside me, there is no other. I can understand how the angel said to Abraham and spoke and whispered to Sarah, is there anything too hard, too hard for God? No. Not anything. Mm -hmm. God is able to do it. Yes, he He's able to bring it mm -hmm. to pass. Oh, Rejoice again. David said something. He said in, in Psalms 34 and 8. He said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. He said, blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Mm. You, you just taste and see that God is good. It is impossible to know the Lord without placing your trust in him. Yes. Impossible. Can't say you know him if you don't trust him. Because when you trust him, you begin to savor and you begin to uh, begin to experience his glory and his presence. I understand that faith is mandatory. You gotta have faith or you can't have God. Amen. It's mandatory. But without trust, without trust in God, there is no delight. There's no there's no fragrance. There's no flavor. There's no sensing of the presence of God if I don't trust Him. Yes. How can you say you have faith and you don't trust Him? Yeah. How can you say that you tasted Him and haven't trusted Him? Jesus, thank you. That's all part of our flavor. That's all part of our delight is the fact that I trust God. Somebody can give you a bad report and you can look at them and square in the face and say, I still believe God. Oh, yes, sir. I still believe God. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's my flavor. That's my delight. Yes. That's my diet. Yes. That's my appetite is the fact that I trust yes. Him. Yes. Yes. Mm. I don't have to feel it. Mm. I don't have to see it. I don't have to sense it. All I know is that he's my delight. He's my appetite. I trust him. Yes, Jesus. Lord. Thank mm. you, Jesus. He's worth rejoicing. Yes. He's yes. worth giving praise to because I trust him. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Seven times in this letter uh, uh, to the church of Philippi, Paul talks about to encourage them to rejoice in the Lord. Yeah. Mm. You know, rejoicing speaks of our passion. Uh -huh. You got to be passionate about God. Don't tell me that you can be uh, so blown away by an individual and yet not be blown away with God. Amen. Don't tell me you love somebody. You tell somebody in a minute, I love you to death. Well, let, let, me, let me share something with you. You ought to love God to life. Amen. You ought to love God to the extent that you can't do it anything and anything without him. I love him. He's my hope. He's my all. I know you got a husband. I know you got a wife. I know you got children. I know you got family. But you ought to love God like the scripture said, with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. That means if my husband I'm still in love with him. If my children leave me, I'm still in love with him. Yes. That's right. Yes. I used to say here before the Lord took 
uh, Sister Connie home, I used to say, we tease with her, I said, listen, I'm on a date and God's still courting me. <laughs> yes, he is. He's still preparing me to meet him in glory. I'm still courting him because the Bible said he's prepared a bride. Oh, without a spot or wrinkle. We're still in the dating process. So therefore, I still love God. Glory to God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. I'm rejoicing. I'm happy about it. I'm still in the courting stage with God. I don't know what he's going to do next, but I'm ready to receive it because I love him just that much. I'm rejoicing. And when I think about him, I get happy. Oh, I don't know about you, but when I think on the goodness of Jesus, sometimes my feet get light. I don't care. I can be sitting somewhere and get stirred in my spirit. I can be driving my car and the rejoicing can spring up in my soul because I just am happy about him. Yes. I'm delighting myself in him. Yes. He's the delight of my life. Yes. Ooh, Lord, when I didn't have nothing, he made me feel good about who I was. When I took, when I was in trouble, he brought me out yes. with a mighty hand. Yes. I'm just happy that I can rejoice yes. in who he is. Yes. 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 Glory. Ooh, I'm rejoicing. Paul said, listen, rejoice and then rejoice again. Because God done brought you from a mighty long way. Yeah. You wouldn't be where you are had not God brought you out. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to stand had not God stood you up. Yeah. Woo, glory. Thank you, Lord. I got the glad glads this morning. I'm excited about Jesus. I'm excited about my relationship with God. Yes. Because I don't know what he's going to do next. Thank you, Lord. I'm on a date with him, and I don't know what he's going to show up with, what gift he's going to show up with next. Oh, because he's going to take me somewhere. He's going to take me to a level yeah. I've never been before. Yes. Jesus. That's the kind of God we serve. Yes. Amen. The Bible says, I have not seen, yes, nor ear heard, yes, neither has it entered into the heart of man uh, the things that God has prepared. Yes. Two 
2,000, 3,000 years, 2,000 years since, over 3,000 years since, uh, since Bathsheba, and the folks still ain't forgave David. Glory to God. Folks don't forget stuff. You can do one thing wrong, yeah. and folks will wave wrong at you forever. But I thank God that God is a God who forgives as well as forgets, and he's able still to bless you. Look at this now. Look what David said in the 30th Psalm. The first five verses, he said, I will extol thee, O God. I'm going to lift you up. He said, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. Here's some rejoicing. And has not made my foes to rejoice over me. He said, God, you let my enemies get me. He said, O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee. Oh, yes, sir. And thou hast healed me. I don't know if God ever healed you from something. I'm not just talking. Your life. 
If you need God to move in your purpose, if you need God to move in your circumstance, it doesn't take much. Just get it up. Oh, yes, just get it up a little bit and say, Lord, I thank you for what you're about to do. Yes, Lord. What you're about to do. Glory, 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 glory. glory. Yes, Lord. Mm. Mm. Paul encouraged the church. <clears throat> glory to God. At Philippi, he spoke to the death. He, he spoke the death of rejoicing in the Lord and said, for them to do likewise. In other words, God just goes down into the depth of your spirit when you rejoice in him. When you give him praise, when you give him the glory, do his name. Apostle Paul said in Philippians 2 and 17, he said, yea, if I be offered upon the sacrifice and the service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For this cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. Paul said, listen, if I give my life, yes. if I give a sacrifice as a result of my service, yes. he said, basically, that's the least I can do for the joy. You know, Jesus said, it. he said, the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Now, in other words, Paul said, my life and my sacrifice is what I do so that you can have cause to rejoice. Yes, Thank you, Lord. We used to sing a song, the reason I live this life, I don't want to be lost. So when you see me live right, it's because I got rejoicing down on the inside. And if I make one example uh, that somebody's life is turned around, then it's worth the rejoicing. Yes. It's worth it. It's worth if one life, one life can be changed because I change. And give God the glory. Amen. It's worth it all. Amen. Mm, it's worth it all. In our text here, Paul has encouraged them and, and let the folk know. He tells them of different ones to pray for and them that are of the same mind. And he tells them to watch them that labor and encourage them. Encourage the women. Encourage the fellow laborers. He said, because all our names are in the book of life. I, I, I've been encouraged over the last month since we started our consecrated prayer to do like the Bible says when Paul responds to uh, some needs in the body and he says, I cease not to pray to, set, uh, to not pray for you. In other words, I cease not to pray for you. In other words, ever since I heard about your problem, ever since I heard about your condition, ever since I heard about your need, Paul said, I cease not to pray for you. Amen. He said, I find myself praying for you all the time. Yeah. And since we have started our consecrated prayer, not that I haven't been praying, but the point is, my mindset is to pray always without ceasing. Because I find that that connects and links the body of Christ so that we can be on one accord in what we ask God for. Yes. Yes. And if I'm praying for you and you're praying for me, we covered one another. Yes. We covered one another. There's an anointing. Yes. There's a refreshing. Yes. We're covering one another. So if you're not taking part Because God wants to put some rejoicing down in your spirit. Yes. God wants to give you the joy that no man can take from you. Yes. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Jesus. Come on, salvation is not just a good feeling. Yes. I felt good in the world before. Salvation is a relationship with him who is eternal. I've never seen God, but God is alive in my spirit. Yes. Rejoice again. He told him, he said, listen, rejoice again. The fourth verse, he says, rejoice in the Lord always. Because he let them know, listen, you're praying for your brethren. You're praying for them in the ministry. Help them that stand in need. And he said, then rejoice. Hey, listen, he said, enjoy me. Let your passion be me. Let your delight be me. Be encouraged by me. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let me be your fragrance. Let me. Let me be your flavor. Let me. Let me be your joy. Yeah. He said, rejoice in me. And again, I say rejoice. He said, let your, your moderate lifestyle, your living, be known at hand so that when folks see you, that they know why you're rejoicing. You're rejoicing because you're looking up because you're soon coming king, about ready to crash the sky. So I'm excited that he's returning. So I'm rejoicing while I'm here. Yeah. Why are you so happy? Because I love the Lord. Yes. Yes. Why, why, why are you always talking about the Lord? See, I don't make no apologies to the world anymore. I don't try to cover it up. I let them know I love God. Yes. You love your stuff. You love your drugs. Yes. You love your stuff. Stuff that's contrary to God. God loves God. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Yes. 
because I love God, I live the life I live. But not by my own strength. Because if I had to do it, it wouldn't get done. Yes. That's right. We all get weak. We all get timid. Yes. We all get worried sometimes. We all get frustrated. Yes. But I thank God for the joy of the Lord. Lord. That I can rejoice in the knowledge yes. of who he is. Yes. Yes. Thank if you. I don't have nothing, I got Jesus. So, yes. And having Jesus is having everything. Yes. Thank you. That's right. He said, be careful. I love this now. He said, be careful. In other words, be cautious. So, in everything, by prayer and supplication, uh, with thanksgiving, make your requests known unto God. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Everything, anything that you have to bring, any petition, any request, any desire, he said, let it be known unto God. Bring to God your petitions. Bring to God your stuff. Stop carrying what God said you're not supposed to carry. Stop trying to drag around what God said you're supposed to let go. He said, be careful for nothing, but by prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known unto God. When you let it go, you ever heard of let go and let God? Or God is saying, let go and let go. Yes, Lord. You want to rejoice in me? Let it go. Give it to me. Nothing is too heavy for God. Nothing is too burdensome for God. God is not tired. He's not weak. We serve a mighty God. And you bring it before him. God is saying again, bring some more. Give me all that you got. To. I'm able to handle it. Hallelujah. He says, listen, we make our request known unto God. He said, and the peace of God. Yes. Woo, glory. Yes. The peace of God. In the midst of our rejoicing, the in the midst of our giving him praise, because we don't let it go. Yes. We've released it. We've given it to God. In the midst of all that, the Bible says that the peace of God yes. that we cannot even understand will keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. It'll keep us settled. We won't have to act like we're crazy. We won't have to be running around with no direction and no purpose. We won't have to act like we don't have a reason to give God the praise. Don't let nobody steal your praise. Amen. Don't let nobody upset your heart. Amen. Because if you've given it to God, God is more than able not only to keep you, but protect you. Yes. Mm. Rejoice again, beloved. One more time. Give him a praise. Rejoice again. Rejoice again. Rejoice again. Oh, see, the problem is you let it go, but you didn't rejoice. Oh, you didn't rejoice again. He said, Lord, I thank you for healing me. I thank you for giving to me. I thank you for healing me. in God's word, yes. and we refresh our spirit as well as our bodies, and yes. when we take yes. refuge in the strength of God, yes. everything gets refreshed. Yes. His presence enables us yes. to rejoice. Yes. Yes. His presence enables His presence. us to rejoice when we refresh ourselves in His word, yes. Yes. and we refresh ourselves in what He has spoken, yes. and we refresh ourselves because we trust Yes. yes. We rejoice. It's cause for rejoicing. Yes. David, had, David had the means, somebody yes. called it, but David had the means as well as the method to rejoice in the Lord, for he encouraged himself. Psalm 34 and 1, one of my favorite scriptures. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul, my soul. glory, glory, glory. He said, My soul yes. shall be called. The humble shall hear yes. thereof and rejoice. Yes. And I'm glad. Understand this. Uh, when I'm talking about God, I'm boasting. Uh, yes. When I'm telling you of his wonders in my life, yes. I'm boasting. Uh, I don't care that you don't understand. Yes. Uh, you might get upset. You might even get jealous. Yes. Uh, but my boast yes. is in God. Yes. I'm rejoicing right now. Yes. Uh, yes. Spirit yes. Because of what God has done. Yes. I'm rejoicing. 
brought them out of Egypt. Yes. He said, listen, I mean, God is still talking about Egypt. Here we are 4,000 years from Egypt. My Lord. And he's still telling the Egyptians, or should I say the Israelites, don't forget. Don't forget. That I brought you. They still celebrate the Passover. He said, don't forget that I brought you out my, my, with a mighty Lord. hand. With a mighty hand. Thank you, Lord. Rejoice again. I see. God said, listen, you, you are where you are because I brought you out. Yes. Rejoice again. Yes. I bless your life. Yes. You wouldn't even qualify for yes. the job. I gave it to you. Yes. Rejoice again. Yes. It was fine, everybody. Let yes. everybody go. So yes. rejoice again. I didn't let them let you go. Yes. Rejoice again.
your whole heart yes. and realize that even if God you don't do it, My Lord. I still love you. Oh, yeah. If you don't bring me out, yeah. I still yeah. love you. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. And God, if this is what I got to go through, I still love you. Amen. 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 It's fine. Fix it when you get ready. Yes. I still love you. Yes, I'm I still going to rejoice oh, yes. in the Lord. Yes, I am. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, oh. I am. Thank you. Ooh, glory, 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 glory. Oh, holy Thank Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You, you, you can rejoice in God yeah. to the extent that you can. Oh, yes. he, it's almost like speaking a benediction oh, yes. over your life and cause yourself oh, yes. to rejoice. Yes. Now, benediction is not necessarily always a ending to something. It can be the beginning of something, even though it's closing out something. Yes. Paul told the church at uh, Ephesus, he said, listen, in Ephesians 3 and 20, he said, listen, now unto him that is able to do exceeding and, and above. Now, that's the benediction over your life so you can have cause to rejoice. Yes. You don't see your way, don't know how to yes. over your promise. Uh, speak a benediction as you wait on my word. Yeah. Now unto him uh, that is able to yeah. do exceedingly yeah. and abundantly uh, yeah. above all that we ask yeah. or think uh, according to the power that worketh in us. And I was reading the second verse. It says unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ. I said Lord that's a lot to say. And the Lord said you just shorten that benediction and just say to God be, be the Lord. God 